the concept of faith, hope, charity is a real capturing of Chuck. What I really truly respect and love about my father is how giving he is with his time, his resources, and perhaps most importantly, with his ideas. And most of the time they're pretty good. He's just got such an incredible amount of energy and he freely gives it to the projects he's involved with, to his family and friends, and to his community. Never too busy to share a moment, give some advice, or just chat about some ideas. I think my dad is special because he has a really big heart. He's not just generous, but once he has been introduced to someone or something and responds to it or kind of um, gets involved with something, then, then that's it. He'll be involved for life. He's a man of deep faith who believes substantially in the power of prayer. And I use the word hope because of his confidence in the ability of individuals to achieve great things. And finally, the concept of charity and philanthropy. It is not scattered gun. It has a purpose. His philanthropy is a challenge to the rest of us to participate either financially or other means at our disposal to help be part of uh, a community that achieves. The thing that I find so compelling about him is his motivation. And the things that truly motivate him are things like style, functionality, and then out of that, what is the end product and how does that really benefit the community? The amount of meetings that we had for this building, the Ocean House, went on for years, of, of which he was involved with almost every single design meeting that we had. So he is, is not just uh, somebody who is a, a pretty face on a project. He is the man behind the project. And he keeps such a low profile. That he's almost shy about things like this. A lot of people get intimidated by him, but he's, he's really a down-to-earth, mellow guy. I've watched him with a lot of other people, and I'm always amazed by his ability to keep his composure to remain gentle, to refrain from the bait of macho competition. I've learned you don't have to be brazen or brash to be big, uh, to really make a difference. He is as interested in life as any person I've ever met. Uh, he honestly cares about each situation and each person that he gets involved with uh, deeply, and he's right there. First time, I met Chuck was in association with the Ocean House Development Project. My fears were allayed because after meeting with Chuck, I knew that Chuck Royce was going to be the right person to develop the Ocean House going forward. And the community, Westerly and Watch Hill, could stand behind Chuck Royce and expect a great project. I think Ocean House's national acclaim benefits the entire community. Uh, we employ 225 people full-time, 450 during the summertime. One of our missions at the Ocean House is to make sure that we patronize local businesses first whenever possible. So everything from the farmers to the florists to the fishermen is done locally as much as we possibly can. The impact to the community is significant. Chuck has a strong interest in the economic vitality of downtown Westerly, an inherent sense of community. And on July 4th, on a very rainy day, Chuck came to the Mystic store at Bank Square Books. We went up to my office, he put his feet up on my couch and said, I can't imagine a town without a bookstore. I have a space, and if I build it, and it doesn't cost you anything, will you run it? And it, I didn't miss a beat by saying, sure. Part of Chuck's vision was to bring back this iconic music venue. We have taken this storied music venue, the Knickerbocker Cafe, where Westley's unique brand of jump blues was made famous by Roomful of Blues back in the 70s and 80s to become the Knickerbocker Music Center. We have partnered with the Rhode Island Philharmonic Orchestra and Music School to become a 501c3. The Knickerbocker Music Center's mission is to celebrate and preserve music and the blues through performance at the Knickerbocker as well as education at our soon to be built music school. Without Chuck's vision and support, none of this would have been possible. Chuck Royce is a kind and generous man. 
I am so grateful for the opportunity he has given me and my business, Christina's, a fantastic new amazing space to grow and to flourish. Chuck has taken a piece of Italy and brought it right here to Westerly, Rhode Island for all of us to enjoy. This build out is nothing short of spectacular and I owe it all to Chuck. Class, gentlemen, look those two words up in the dictionary. Right next to them should say Chuck Royce. If they don't, get that dictionary and throw it out because you got the wrong one. Chuck, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for this opportunity. Business is spectacular and I owe it all to you. Thank you so much. Love you. Chuck has always been a great supporter of the Westerly Land Trust. Ever since the days of our first land acquisition project, Avondale Farm Preserve, back in 1998. He was one of our staunch supporters who stepped up to make that happen, and he's been there for us ever since. Partnering with Chuck on our urban initiative has set the Westerly Land Trust aside from other land trusts nationally, and for that we're grateful. The downtown is, is a little special. It's an intact downtown and we're very fortunate to have the architecture in businesses. Within the past few months, with the opening of a few restaurants, in, including the bookstore, the foot traffic and the number of people that are walking and driving through town has increased significantly. Right now, downtown Wesley is booming. It is amazing to walk the streets to see what has been going on. It, it's like a fever. When you see something good happening, you want to make your place better. And that's exactly what's happened. And he's always concerned about the children and uh, giving the children of our community a place where they can go and being able to uh, go to the YMCA, enjoy the park, enjoy sports, get health care, and also being able to get a good education. One of the first opportunities Chuck provided the YMCA through the Land Trust was the Washington Trust ice skating rink. And it would not exist without Chuck's tremendous support. We are averaging about 15,000 people that are coming through and skating. This was all possible because of his generosity. Chuck's excitement in his philanthropic endeavors is the enjoyment that he sees other people receive. I remember right after the skating rink was up and running, I called his office one afternoon, leaving a message saying that the team was practicing for their hockey match. And I received a text back later that day saying, I'm so thrilled. And my friends, that's the kind of philanthropist Chuck Royce is. Chuck has had this vision of creating a space for really high quality artistic events. Imagine a Lincoln Center here in Westerly where you come to the United Theater and learn not only about what's coming on at the United, but also what's taking place with all the other arts organizations. Imagine 20 years time when the United Theatre is completed and we have year-round programming. Imagine uh, bundling that idea up where we have shown and proven that investing in the arts can really turn a downtown area into a, a vibrant uh, art center. And the next major big thing that Chuck's very involved with is the CCRI education program that's partnered with Electric Boat. That is going to uh, positively affect generations going forward of the children that come out of our school system. And we started talking and he said, downtown Westerly needs a community college in the middle of town. And I said to myself, where in the world would we put a community college in downtown Westerly? We searched, we found a spot, and it's happening. And it's all because Chuck has that vision, and because he attended a community college, he knows the value of it. It gives them the opportunity, everybody, and not just kids coming out of high school. We're talking about seniors, we're talking about middle-aged people that have lost their jobs, that now have the opportunity to get a good job. I'm just tickled to death about this whole thing. If we're very fortunate in our lives, we have people who um, brighten our days and make our lives special in the moment. And we can be grateful for such family and friends. And then you have exceptional people like Deborah and Chuck Royce, whose extraordinary generosity and foresight have made a difference in our community, not just 
today and now, but for generations to come. I think the stimulus they've provided with each gift and with each contribution and each investment, these have had a beneficial compounding effect for many other individuals and small businesses and for the nonprofits that make up our community and the region. We have had the pleasure of hearing about all of Chuck's amazing work in and around Westerly. But the side of Chuck that I know and love, in addition to many, is Chuck as a dog lover. So we're here tonight with Paige and Georgina to tell Chuck that we love you, we're proud of you, keep up the good work, and uh, I just am in awe of everything you do. I've often wondered how he gets everything done. And after 10 years, I finally come up with two possibilities. One, he never sleeps. And number two, I think he must have ADD. It's not surprising to me if I get a, an email at 4.30 in the morning uh, saying, Grant, could you possibly move the front door five feet to the left and also in, enlarge the entire front entrance? of where I'm saying, oh my goodness, this is going to be a major problem. But then again, in the light of things, in the, you take a look at it and it makes utmost sense. Chuck Royce has changed the landscape of our community. He's made a positive economic impact like no other before him. When Superstorm Sandy swept through devastating Musquamacate, he immediately helped set the momentum for the Ocean Community Chamber of Commerce's Bring Back the Beach program. He believes in creating opportunities, and he seems to measure his own success on his ability to help others achieve theirs. My dad loves to see what makes people come alive. He has an insatiable hunger for life, and he loves to nurture that in other people. He's also a big lover of communities, so for him to create projects that allow a community to flourish is really just a natural step for him. Chuck brings out the best in us. He is quick to recognize individuals' talents and figures out a way to support them. He's very good at putting together projects that he does not take the front line on. And a lot of folks in this town have no idea how many times Chuck has touched their lives. And, and a perfect example of that would be driving by the skating rink on a, on a cold, when, uh, a, a cold Saturday night in January when you see a throng of children out there with their family skating around. Now without Chuck Royce, that would not have happened. That would not have become a reality. Some get their kicks from champagne. Chuck, he gets his kicks out of seeing other people's talents and helping them expand those and be more successful with those. Whether you're a small business person, whether you're a Brown Royce scholar, he likes to enjoy other people's success, and he likes to be a part of it. Chuck Royce is a catalyst. Detail-oriented. Bold. Pioneering. Perfectionist. Creative. Focused. Kind-hearted. Unflappable. Magnanimous. Down-to-earth. Loyal. Altruistic. Compassionate. Generous. Dialed in. Sweet. Loving. Selfless. Spiritual. Brilliant. Visionary. Cool. Music lover. Humble. Quirky. Approachable. Congratulations, Chuck. I just want to thank you for all that you have done for me and for everyone else. We really appreciate you. This is a very well-deserved honor. Uh, your selfless commitment to this area uh, absolutely. So, Dad, I mean, there's no question that you deserve Citizen of the Year Award, but you're also Father of the Century to us. At all of your passion, motivation, determination, and persistence are all qualities that I revere and look up to. And I want to thank you and tell you how proud I am of you for everything that you've done. I love you. We love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. We love you, Chuck. Congratulations, Dad. We love you, and so does the community. I'm so proud of you, Dad. Congratulations, Chuck, and thank you. On behalf of the Ocean Community Chamber of Commerce.